Hello and welcome to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In this tutorial we will be looking at creating uh, stills and freeze frames in our timeline and also exporting uh, freeze frames and stills maybe for posters and other artworks that you know, maybe you just want to publicise or tweet about your upcoming project. Um, now if we actually wanted to just export a still, let's say that we thought that, let's just scrub it here in the timeline, we thought this really cool creative uh, design that we created in I believe part six, don't quote me on that, of my Final Cut Pro basic training series um, when we look at the transform crop and distort tool. Basically we go up here to the share menu and there is actually very quickly an option that says save current frame and that allows us to export that the wherever the playhead is as a still image. You can see we've got some options here, we can save it as a JPEG, a PNG, even a Photoshop file. In the summary it just lets us know the dimensions of the pictures or the picture, sorry, if you were to export a image sequence then obviously frames per second would be quite relevant but f just for the picture all we really need to know is the frame size as I'm working at a 1080p project it's going to automatically export at that anyway let's go ahead and press next and you can see it's going to give us some options to save I've actually created a steels folder for Husky, we can go ahead and uh, name it appropriately but I'm not going to do that because I've already exported a few steels I'm just going to press cancel, but basically you press save and it's going to export a nice high resolution photo that will match your project settings. However, let's say we wanted to have a still image in the um, in the timeline. Well, we could import a still image. If we go over to Husky, press stills, we can see we've got a couple of stills in here. Uh, let's say we wanted to have this still. We could just drag it into this keyword collection. And you can see it's now here and then if we import it you can see we've now got this still image in our timeline. Now you can actually change the uh, default duration if we go over into preferences you can see that the default still image length is 4 seconds you can change that but 4 seconds is round about quite nice and then obviously you can stretch it shorten it. But what if we wanted to create a still image from an actual video? Let's say we thought this would be a good still image. Well, let's very quickly set an in and an out point. Actually, that's a bit retardedly short. Let's just drag this into the timeline. And if we select this clip, go over to here where it says retime and we can actually press hold now the way hold works is that it's going to create a green bit which basically means it's playing at normal speed this red bit is where it's going to hold and then the green bit is where it's going to carry on so up until the red bit it's going to play as if it were a normal video then it's going to stop and then it's going to play again now we can just delete these bits and we, you can see if we click on any section it's going to create a selection for us and we can actually just delete them bits and leave ourselves these are cells only with the hold bit if you do lose your retime options um, just select a clip and press command R to reshow your retime clips and then we can stretch this out and create our still for as long as we want and you can see now really quickly from a piece of video footage we have created a still image in our timeline and it really is that easy and then you can see when we play it back the one thing to bear in mind obviously is that when you create a freeze frame it will kill the audio in the sense that no audio can play at zero speed because it won't be playing um, so we, we could just get rid of that or just leave it because the audio won't be there um, so I hope that was useful um, now you know how to create a still image um, you can share a still or a freeze frame and you can actually create a still or a freeze frame from a piece of video and put it into your timeline thank you for watching and we'll be back soon with some more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials remember to comment and subscribe and even like the video maybe even recommend it to a friend in fact why don't you tweet about it tweeters